My name is Sunny um, and I'm going to be showing you my Aboriginal art collection uh, this afternoon. We have 30 to 40 pieces of work ranging from the Central Desert in the Utopia area uh, up to the Kimberley region and uh, there's a whole range of different kind of artworks. Some of them from artists who are very well known in the industry and you'll see Art of Bird and Gloria Pichere and um, Kathleen Purvis and then artists from the Kimberley who are not so well known but have just a style that you won't find anywhere else in the world. Um, truly spectacular stuff. So uh, 30 to 40 pieces, I'm going to go through them one by one now for you, do a bit of a commentary about them. Um, on the night, on Thursday when we do the soiree, we'll go into a lot more detail and obviously Margot Neal, who's uh, you know, a national expert, uh, is going to be coming down and talking about the artworks. And she's got a wealth of knowledge you won't find anywhere else in the world. So it's going to be a really exciting night on Thursday and these are the pieces that you're going to have an opportunity to see. Uh, I invite you to come. Okay, this is a really gorgeous little piece that I, again, I just adore by Melissa Kamare, Central Desert. I'm just going to go to the Central Desert works first and then we'll get on to uh, the works by the Wonka Junka group from the Kimberley. But for now, these are the artists that are more well known. You'll find some of their works in galleries around Australia. I don't know if you'll find Melissa Kamare, you might, but definitely Art of Bird is definitely a big name artist and quite worth investing in. I just think it's like a window. One of the things you'll notice with Aboriginal art, which I'll talk about on Thursday also, is the depth of the pieces. There's always a sense that there's uh, kind of a 3D effect, it kind of goes back, like there's layers to it, and I don't know how they achieve it, they just, in every piece there's some element of that, so have a look out for that in the pieces I show you. But that's just simple, that one, it's just gorgeous and simple. This is a piece called Campsite Dreaming by uh, Gloria Nyala, against Central Desert. Very different style of work, obviously, um, much more colourful, much more kind of traditional Aboriginal art style with the dots and what's often recognised as Aboriginal art style of painting. Um, obviously it's about a campsite, so you've got your campsites which are the circular dots and then the, uh, the people or utensils are those things that are around the dots, uh, sorry, around the campsite. I can't point to them, but you can see the kind of banana shaped lines. This is a piece that my wife loves. It's been above our fireplace for years now. Uh, and uh, we're now, uh, I think we're selling this one. We're selling this one. And, um, it's a Central Desert piece again. I'm not actually sure who the artist is. It's been up there for so long, uh, but you know, I'll know on Thursday. But it's just a, oh, it's just gorgeous. It sits, it sits above our fireplace, and um, there's something about the shape of it. And you know, most pieces above fireplace, big kind of rectangular pieces of work, whereas this one just, just nailed that spot. So this, uh, I've got to say, it's a very small piece, but it's really one of my favourite pieces. It's um, by Nancy Petcheri. It's called Mountain Devil Dreaming, and um, I really don't know what to say about why I love it, but I just love it. I just think it's just simple and gorgeous. This is a Gloria Pichere uh, from 1994, out of Springs again from the Utopia area. Uh, this one as well I've had for many, many years. It's a Werle, uh, I can't say the word, a Willier, Willier uh, piece, women's business piece. Uh, Probably body paint designs again. This is another beautiful piece that has also been on my wall since uh, I was at university. And uh, it's just a, a gorgeous piece of work from the Central Desert and you've got snakes and, and um, sacred watering holes. And, um, and the background, the different multicolors in the background usually represents the sacredness of the story. Great, so this is a Teresa Perla piece from the Central Desert and it's big. It's uh, at least uh, 1.5 by 1 metres, it's also heavy, um, a great piece for a large lounge room setting or uh, if you want to dominate a wall or um, um, you know if you really want it to kind of uh, be a central artwork for a kind of a, a room. Um, it's a Witchley Grub Dreaming, it's just a gorgeous piece of work. My house is too small for a piece like this, although that's not true, we've had a piece like this up in the lounge room but it's just, it's really spectacular. Okay, this is another large piece. I'm going to show you a couple of really large pieces now. Again, Central Desert. This is a grass seed dreaming piece. It's got an extraordinary fluidity. A lot of these artworks, especially the grass seed dreaming artworks, which I'm going to show you another one of later, which you know uh, really have a, uh, a real sense of movement to them, as well as a real depth. Alright, this is a piece, this, this, I love this series. This is a large piece again by Art of Bird. Art of Bird is probably the most famous name uh, of the artist that we're going to have on offer here. 
She has artworks in um, galleries around Australia. She's an extremely well-known Aboriginal artist from the Utopia area. Um, I've got a couple of pieces from her and they're just, there's a real, I mean they're all very colourful, as you can see, very bold, very clear. Alright, this has got to be one of my favourite art of birds. I just think it's spectacular. It's really out there in your face and strong and uh, clear. Um, again, it's large, women's body paint. You can see the breasts and the belly markings that Arda would wear on her body in ceremonies and still does. It's just a, a really gorgeous piece. This is another Arda bird. Again, uh, women's body paint is you can probably imagine, very punchy. <laughs> when I was in Paris, uh, and I got these artworks when I was an art dealer in Paris, the, the exhibition is, uh, these are the works that I've got left over from when I was doing that work. Um, I uh, nearly sold this to a senior executive from France Telecom in, uh, on a barge in the middle of the Seine River. <laughs> That's the story. I don't know what happened, why it fell through, but he didn't give it back to me in the end, but it was a, it's a really beautiful, beautiful piece of work that would just fit on any wall. Okay, this is a beautiful little Judy Purvis Central Desert in the Utopia region. Gorgeous little piece. Um, some people don't like it because it's got splotches, and some people love the splotches, so go figure. The pieces that I'm going to show you now are from the Wankajunka people in the Kimberley region. Uh, you won't find works like this anywhere else. Um, my friend who went up to the Kimberley region back in the 1990s was the first Australian government art um, support person. I don't know what the name is, but she brought all the paints and the artwork and the, uh, and the paper and stuff up to that community so they could paint. And um, the old people there probably hadn't painted for a long time and they took the acrylic colours and they just went crazy with them. They hadn't had bright greens and yellows and oranges and these colours to paint with before and they just really went for town. Uh, so you're going to see some really spectacular pieces. They're all on paper, uh, they're all about 10 years old. I don't know a lot of the people that were then painting may not be alive now, but uh, this is the first works that they were done, uh, as far as I know, that was not on traditional materials. So they really got excited and they, these are spectacular pieces of work. So I'm going to start now with um, one uh, blue one. Okay. So here's another one. Like I said, uh, they're very, very colourful. We wait till I see some, show you some of the later ones, even more spectacularly colourful. Uh, I'm not sure of the names of the artists until I look at my sheets, but I, this one, I think it's Willie Q, who was an old man, probably one of the best of the bunch back then. Just really beautiful work. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just flash up a couple of the other pieces from the Wankajunga community. This is not all the works, just so you know, we've only really shown you about a third of the works available, maybe less. Um, and this is, this is the kind of stuff that the Wankajunga community did. It's spectacular. Greens and reds and yellows and whites. Just beautiful. I'm going to go quite quickly, okay, now, so we're running out of battery on the camera. <laughs> and that could go in a nursery or a children's room. Beautiful, huh? This is a big one. I'm going to try and hold it up for you. Oh. That framed would be absolutely spectacular. I hope you enjoyed the little exposition. That's just a little tiny snapshot of what is it we're going to do on Thursday. As I said at the beginning, Thursday night, uh, we're going to have Margot Neal down, who's recently been invited to the Vatican to curate their Indigenous Art Collection. She's the national curator of the National Museum of Australia and my mother. So, you know, we're going to go through all these artworks, get all your questions answered, drink some wine, have a really great night. And, um, you know, if there's something that you like, you know, you can have a conversation about purchasing that. We really, really intend to sell the whole lot. So, um, Give me a call 0433 147 if you're interested in Aboriginal art or um, get in contact with me that way is probably the best way. And I look forward to seeing you on Thursday night.